anecdotal evidence suggests between a third and half of self-employed estate agents fail in the first year in the UK. Alice Bullard, boss lady of Nested, self-employed estate agency model. Why do you think that is? Talk to me. makes me so sad. Um, I think there are a number of reasons um, why some self-employed agents fail. Um, I think the most obvious one that everyone knows that I'm going to say is the support. So the financial support, the marketing support, you know, they're coming out of roles where they've never had to do a lot of lead gen before, you know, they've never had to do a lot of marketing before. You yeah, I remember when I was like countrywide, we'd be given at Easter a, a bunny a picture of a bunny rabbit rabbit with the uh, with a house next to it to put it in the window. You know, we had to think about any of that side of things. So I think stepping out of that environment into a place where it's now all on you as an individual and building your personal brand, not having that kind of backup, that office up backup of the support and the financial side, I think sometimes can put people in a sort of a sense of, of fear and then they go this isn't working for me and then they they go back to, to high street agency so i think that's that's the big one making sure that they've got that support network there but self-employed estate agency has been around in the uk now for a good four or five years mm -hmm. um i got laughed at four or five years ago that i said that self-employed estate agency would be a dominant within 10 or 15 years and i've banged on constantly that you have to create a personal brand and you have to go out there so why, surely it's their responsibility to realise that you have to go out there from day one and press the flesh and door knock and put the... Yeah, the door. absolutely. And I think that's probably like the second reason why maybe people, it doesn't work out for them is it's people's attitude. I think if you're coming into self-employment, you think you're just going to open your laptop on your first day as self-employed business owner and things are going to come your way, then you're you're really wrong. You need to be out there in the community. I say to, to the partners that come on, don't employ a leaflet distributor in your first couple of months have your leaflets in your car and go out and do it yourself because your picture is on that you'll be giving it to people as they're opening their door or as they're in their front garden and they'll start to recognize you as that sort of person within within the industry and, and within their area and go to local coffee shops have your conversations on phones on the phone in a coffee shop um you know giving some seller advice because people will be listening in and they'll be like oh that person's talking about the housing market that's really interesting who is that person yeah. so it's about being in your community and i think the attitude of having that hey you could even record it on your phone and upload it into local facebook groups absolutely wow. it, that, of those facebook groups that do actually accept okay. you in because that's a uh that's something in itself uh, well you know where the answer to but... that is don't you because where estate agents go wrong is they just go and try and sell stuff. Yeah. Of course they're going to kick you out of the group. Yeah, of course. Go there and try and give. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think, so I think attitude is a big one. Um, and then the third one I think that I've seen, um, I've, I've seen sort of quite frequently actually, is that people being told that it's the right time for them when it isn't. So people, people starting up at the wrong time You've got to make sure that when you do this, it's for the, the, the longevity and it's not for the next six months. You've got to be constantly thinking, right, what's my next 12 months? What's my next, what, where's, what's my next two years? What's my next three years? And make sure that you've got a business plan for that. Don't just quickly do it off a whim. Absolutely not. This has got to be the right time for you to go into a self-employed role. And I think coming back to the one of the conversations we've already had today around the revenue share um i think sometimes people are being told yep yep do it you can earn lots of money and actually when you take a step back it's not the right time for them and people make that people jump into it too quickly um so i think support i think attitude of that individual and i think the the timing of it are th sort of three key reasons why why people um can't make it work what are your thoughts chris uh, I get asked all the time from people which self-employed model is the best. I don't think you should judge it on the revenue share or the percentage that you earn uh, because there's some fantastic models out there at 50-50. Mm -hmm. Dep it depends on what you get for your money. And that's yeah. the magic thing is what do you get 
for your money. Yeah. Um, there are models out there. I mean, the two big ones obviously come from America. Mm -hmm. um, some people have said, um, are they American, too American? Um, I'd actually say, no. Well, and, you know, one is very good at training mm -hmm. and there are some exceptional, I'm going to say this, there are some exceptional Keller centers, like groundbreaking, amazing. There are others that are not, mm -hmm. in my humble opinion. Yeah. Uh, I'd like the EXP model myself. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some great people in there. They've, they've got very big, though. So, I mean, they've lost that. You know, you said about the support. I think the culture, and, and I think the, the most important thing is the culture of the firm. Mm -hmm. the, the fact that you're part, you said support, yeah. I'm going to say culture, yeah. is whoever that person is as is, is your mentor, guide, support, and whether that is you as, in your case, or someone who's brought you in as a, as a, as a, as a like a mm -hmm. revenue share person, you have a responsibility to guide and support them on their journey. Yeah. Because if you're taking a cut of their commission, you've got to give something back to earn that, uh, in my yeah. humble opinion. Absolutely. And I think, therefore, to answer your question, mm -hmm. why do some people fail? Right, not enough support, mm -hmm. culture's wrong. But more importantly, I'm going to be quite brutal now. 90% of it is the person looking at themselves in the mirror. Mm. You know, just because you're a bloody good lister doesn't mean you're a good business generation. And, if, you know, if you think about it, again, mm -hmm. going to be controversial now yeah. is this, is that if... Well, I'm going to try, I've got to be very careful what I say mm -hmm. this. Okay, here we go. If no one's contacting you personally on your mobile phone or through social media, that is the number of listing, uh, li listing leads that you will get when you leave. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my advice to you, to anyone watching this is this. Build your personal brand whilst you're an unemployed. Get out there, create great content. Yeah. So when you do leave, the leads are already coming through the door because yeah. they follow you. I, I, I absolutely agree with you on that. And I think that comes back to the timing point, right? So if anyone's watching this video and they haven't already started that, then just because someone's sort of sitting there going, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you should do it, you should do it, now's the time, it probably isn't the right time. You should be doing those things now whilst you're in those employed roles. So you're setting yourself up for success. I'm in the Freemasons, I'm happy to declare that. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, everything's an analogy. And we say that your life is a building and every building needs bloody good foundations. Yeah. Go out there, build <laughs> yourself some foundations. Yeah. So when you do leave, you're rocking and rolling and hitting the ground running. Anyway, thank you for that. Ask. That was, that was a nice surprise. <laughs> thank you for your time today you're and welcome. thank you for all the videos that you've done over the last day. Thank you. Thanks, Craig.